Hey there! Today we'll do something different. Today we'll flow profile our espresso using Player Pro 2. So let's get started. The boring part first. What is flow profiling? Well, to explain flow profiling, we need to explain flow rate first. And flow rate is the amount of water that's coming out of your brew head, dripping into your cup per time. So let's say your flow rate is 2 grams of water per second. That means by the end of 20 seconds, you will have 40 grams of espresso in your cup, right? And flow profiling is optimizing your flow rate to adjust the taste of your espresso. And we are going to do that using Flare Pro 2, a smart scale, and an application that I built myself. The application part might not be a solution for you, but I built an app because there was no app that I could flow profile my espresso using this scale. But there is an app which I will link down below that can work with many scales. So why I did not choose any of those scales and bought one and build an app myself? Well, because this is way cheaper than the scales that the application supports. But I still had a problem here. Uh, even after building the application, I had to find a way to fit this scale under Flare Pro 2. So as you can see, it just doesn't work like this. So what I did was to build a custom stand for Flare Pro 2 that I can mount scale as well as Pro 2 and then measure the flow rate of my shot. Let me put this aside and bring this in. So this is the stand. As you can see, I can put my scale and then on top of that, I can put Pro 2 and then, well, obviously it's not going to wiggle like this. I will mount it, but then I will be able to scale my shot. Okay, so it's time to mount 
Pro 2 is putting something like this. On top of that, the scale. And now we can mount Pro 2. Exactly. Now everything is secure. I'm gonna need my phone as well, since I'm going to monitor the flow rate. So let's put that here. Stump the water again. I'm going to reuse this water. We stuck with the pre-infusion, as always, at three bars. And then I slowly ramp up. We're at seven bars. And I think I'll maintain this flow rate. I see a slight increase, so I just decrease the pressure to six bars. And now it's five bars and I'll just finish the shot. Now it's clean up time. Okay, so that was pretty much it. Let's wrap this one up with a conclusion. So at the end of the day, we all want a shot of espresso, right? And this is already looking over complicated. And I tend to agree. But personally, I like the idea of being able to adjust just another variable uh, in the process. And this is only available for me through manual espresso machine like Flare Pro 2. This is not something that I do every day or every time I make espresso. It's just experimenting and playing with the process a little bit and leveraging the power of Flare Pro 2, basically. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're interested in having a similar setup, let me know and then I can consider polishing my application a little bit and maybe put that on, on an application store. And yeah, as always, enjoy your coffee, which is what I'm going to do now.